Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today it's time to finish up our uh, Omron Q2V drive where we're going to run drive today in remote control with the uh, MOP uh, frequency setup where we're going to be using two buttons to control the frequency and also going to be doing the set frequency setup or set multi-frequency setup as well we're going to be checking that out if you missed the last two videos Again, uh, there's going to be uh, there's two videos uh, in previous we did with the two wire control, commissioning of the drive, and uh, local runs and, uh, and things like that. Do check out those videos in the description below. Any related videos, manuals, everything that I think would benefit you in possible way, that is, is you'll be able to find that in the description below. So, without further ado, let's get started. <music> There we go, so the first station is in, and let me show you what that's going to look like. So we will have a, uh, a run forward, run reverse signal, we're also going to have a speed up and speed down. And obviously you can still extend your station for extra signals if you wish to, for all sorts of extras, because we still have, as you can see, maybe not. Uh, we got the digital input 5 and 6 and 7 still left, so there, there, all those can be uh, done or programmed for whatever you wish. For our this application, so let me run you through the wiring. What we have in here is very, very basic wiring. So again, we have a HC and a, a HC coming in here and a H1 and H2 re returning back to right, these terminals there for our safety circuit. And now we got a zero a V0 coming in here, coming through the uh, another normal closed switch, and so the uh, powers up all the switches all across the board. Our run forwards digital input one, our uh, run reverse with digital input two. Uh, there's a speed up with digital input three, and speed down is going to be digital input four. Do remember, you still are able to do this in three wire control as well. You can have a start stop button with uh, extra reverse. There is uh, so many combinations. So hopefully by end of all three these three videos, you're really starting to get just what you can do and then and, and, and achieve your desired application, uh, whichever way you wish to program it. So, and uh, regarding wiring, no, not wiring, the setup, uh, obviously we are in a two-wire control, so this is where you initially, we initialize the two-wire control. We need to change the uh, inputs around because we need up and down commands. So an up and down command is, as you can see, up command, down command, 62 and 63. Look at that, you can have a uh, up, uh, up command 2 and up, uh, down command 2 there is, is, is uh, you I'm, I'm not going to get into this because there, there's so much more you can do you can even uh, have a setup for two motors within this drive and, uh, and then a, sep a separate uh, um, uh, controls for it uh, not the controls but like by flipping the switch it will, it will uh, work differently so he will have his own uh, motor setup in there differently so, like so yeah there is it's just, it's just i'm complicating the situation again let's get back to where we were for the up and down control so uh for us to get uh, the speed up and down to work we're going to be using a d3 and d4 and for that we need to go to a uh, parameter group h and go for a parameter, uh, I mean the digital input, uh, 3, which you can see I set that up to 2, and that one is set up to 3. If, by end of the engine, once you change, not if, but once you just start changing, let's say you changed one of the parameters uh, up command and you don't have a down command, it will be flashing an alarm or error, so uh, don't, you, don't worry, as soon as you will uh, select both of the uh, up and down, up and down commands. There, the error will disappear. It's just pretty much telling you, "Hello, I've got up, but I don't know where the down is coming from." So it does require this to be as a necessity. So do not worry if those alarms appear. So when it comes down to this kind of setup, that is really all there is what we need to do. So and there's one more thing we can, and. Uh, which I'm actually going to show you as we are running. So it'll be, that'll be easier. Let me put a cover on and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. There we go. So the cover is on. So let's have a look at how this works. There we go. So let's put it on in a run. As you can see, there's nothing happening. The little light run light is flashing and that's happening because obviously 
is looking for a uh, 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 some form of frequency. So as you can see, I'm holding a button and the speed goes up. And then we see how fast it goes down. Why is that? Because that is because the acceleration and deacceleration very much affect how sensitive the buttons are going to be. The lower the acceleration time, the the faster the buttons will react, and the higher, the quicker the, the frequency will jump, and the higher the, the acceleration time, the slower it will react. As you can see, slowly. So, and then we can go obviously. Oh, uh, we, because we turned off, as you can see, we turned off and the frequency disappeared. That can be changed. Let me just show you how that's done before we go. So as you can see, as I stop, the frequency disappears and uh, you have to start again. So how do we want to save it? If you want to keep it, we can do that. And uh, that is done in parameter D group 4. Let's go to VCD, go to 4, and then enter there and any number. I say up by one will change that uh, memory so now he knows that he needs to save that uh, frequency in the uh, in the memory as the oop, as the buttons uh, oop, uh, stop uh, just my cameras here we go so um, here we go so we put it on so as you can see now we're loading it up and if you turn off as you can see the frequency stayed behind and if I want to go right but it will be uh starting from that frequency and if you say you know what i no longer want that frequency just click a button any of the up and down buttons and it will remove that back to zero and that ladies and gentlemen is how the mlp control would work or electronic way there's some name different drives call it different ways i would call it up down frequency control so uh having done that so next up let's jump on to how to set this up for multi-frequency setup here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So our multi station, multi frequency station is uh, all wired in, and uh, this is what it's going to look like. Oop. We will have a uh, run signal, then speed one, speed two, speed three. But rather than being speed one, speed two, speed three, I will, I will class that as a, a, a input selection. And then what that means, I will literally will tell you now. So, and also we have a uh, e stop signal. And by the way, we have ditched the H1, H2, HC because my station doesn't didn't have enough cables to accommodate that one. So we just put a basic uh, e stop control in there. So when it comes down to wiring, so for the wiring, you can see I have a, a V zero coming in here, going through normally closed contact, and that sort of distributes the power to all the switches. My digital input one, as you can see down there, uh, is going to be my run signal, and then a uh, if you see down there the four, uh, four, four, no, no, five. What is it? A five, six, and a seven. Five, six, seven. So five, six, and seven is going to be for my uh, frequency selections. Five and a six is already uh, pre -pre on pretty much on both the uh, initializations as a default. So uh, you can achieve all three speeds by a combination of uh, five and a six if you wish. If you want to achieve seven speeds, you need a additional uh, reference point which uh, could be added to digital input, a uh, any digital input added to it. And let me show you in here quickly on a on a uh, paper, as you can see down here, A, B, C, D are, that's better now, A, B, C, D is, is, is multi-speed reference, one, two, three, and four. What does that mean? So that is pretty much, it's telling the drive uh, you, whichever letter you selected on whichever input you added, that will be a uh, selection that he will be reading, like uh, uh, reference 2 will be his bit 2, reference 3 is going to be his bit uh, uh, 3, and reference 4 is going to be for bit 4. So, the more reference points uh, you add to uh, your digital input uh, selection, uh, the more speed you can achieve. With two digital reference points, that's reference one and two, you achieve three. With uh, uh, By adding reference point three in any of the digital input uh, selection, you will be able to do seven. And by adding the fourth one, you can do up to 15. So, and this is what it will look like on uh, Omron manual. So do check out that in page 510. 
So pretty much in here, it is showing you what you need to, to select to achieve whichever speed you are after. So let's say multi-speed uh, reference selection, if you select that uh, switch on, and then you select, and then, and then as you can see, that will be for the D0102 speed. So as you can see on the bottom, there's no more switches required for this speed to work. So if you want the, whatever, the, 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 in our case, it's gonna be speed three in here. So it says you only need to select uh, the selector switch for the reference two. So if you can see speed four now requires two switches. So it needs a one and a two to be selected to achieve speed three. And I'm hoping you understand the gist, just how that works. It'll be easier when I show you in live. As you can see that for the speed five, you only need a multi-selection speed reference three being on and so on. As you can see down here, it needs all three switches. It's gonna give us the eight and so on. So in many cases, a lot of people just need three speeds. So you're just gonna use uh, two cables, which are already by default are programmed in uh, in uh, five and six. So uh, let me put a cover on and I will uh, start talking you through how that works. And another thing we added in here, which I don't usually do, but I quickly I, I show it to you anyway, is potentiometer. You are still allowed to have a potentiometer. As you can see down here, it is fluctuating around. So let me put a cover on and I will show you how all this works. Here we go, so the cover is on and before we get started, I'll quickly show you where you can edit your references. So that will be in a parameter group D, D1, and from there on, uh, one, two, and keep on going. So uh, this D1 here, the first with the class as a uh, frequency, uh, uh, frequency first frequency could be set to, to a, a run button but there's some parameters needs to be changed which I'm not going to show so that it pretty much overrides and it blocks out the potentiometer uh, usually I don't use that so uh, do not a complicated situation I'm not going to go into that so my basically my frequency usually would start as from two so this is where you edit your frequency and one more thing if you are on selection of any frequencies. You can see by default, they are all at a zero. That selection will not be executed once you uh, show in and how that works. Let's get to it. So as you can see, my first on my run, you still have a run signal and it works from potentiometer. There we go, see? It works from potentiometer. As soon as you select the speed, it overrides potentiometer and uses the preset speed. So, and this is where you can see that my speed one will be 11. My speed two is gonna be 20. You see what happens when I remove the speed, it goes to this speed. And, and that's why I don't ever use potentiometer. So for the demonstration purposes, we remove that and now stands at zero at all time and it gives me better control of my speed. So speed one, speed two, and these two together will be your speed three. So now you want more speeds. As you can see, these two switch, uh, which one says that? These two switch selection, I have not edited the frequency. It shows zero. That's pretty much what's in the, what's in the frequency selection uh, set in there. So let's see which ones I, here we go. I have edited this. You have to look at the diagram. I'll show you uh, just at the beginning is what diagram which represents what. Okay, so you have this uh, sort of uh, e-stop in here, which only, by the way, removes the power from the digital input. And as soon as you uh, release that, uh, the drive will restart. That would be the bare minimum if you don't go via H2, H2 and HE internal safety circuit. So uh, another thing, another sh uh, sh uh, selection I'm gonna be showing you is let's remove the e-stop. If you wanna know what selection speed you're gonna be, you can, by selecting the switch without run signal, as it will not run, but it will show you the frequency. So you can do that. So uh, that's so uh, that's twenty. That's uh, pretty much. Uh, hopefully, you are getting the gist. Selection of the switches by the graph you've seen right here will tell you exactly which speed will be which. So remember, it does need a run signal for any speed to go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, will be it for this driver. It comes down to wiring. And next video, we're gonna be checking out the Omron uh, uh, programming software uh, for this drive and the other families of the drive. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like that video, smash that like. If you didn't, 
Please please like, comment below as usual. Any questions, I'll answer them as soon and as accurate as I can. On that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.